James, what would you say you see the main problem in the market is at present? I mean, I think, I think employee expectations have really um, increased over sort of even the past few months with the whole sort of lockdown and working from home. And I think, you know, employees as a whole, they really expect a lot from, from the organisation they, they work with. And therefore, what that means is, you know, that can be expectations through, you know, the benefits they receive. And also what it certainly really uh, plays into is the training. Um, and they've got high expectations. They, they expect to have, you know, that sort of cutting edge training uh, and to be offered the opportunity to improve as an individual, to advance their career and all those sorts of things. So, you know, expectations on the employee side is definitely driving, I think, uh, organisations to look at training slightly differently, um, particularly now with, you know, an expectation of remote working uh, and people sort of having tried the remote working um, you know, for, as I call it, a sort of a forced experiment in that we've all had to do it. Yeah. But in the majority of cases, it's worked well. And people are thinking, okay, well, this is great. So, but how, how do I get trained when I'm remote working? You know, how do those big, you know, um, training courses run remotely? And so that's where technology is starting to come in and organizations are thinking, okay, well, how do we keep our employees engaged when, they aren't coming to the office so much. They aren't getting that level of interaction. And technology has got a, a big role to play in that, one of which being virtual reality. Mm -hmm.